people wasted no time getting to the polls to try to beat that crowd that will be there on Tuesday. Meanwhile, many voters telling me today that this primary election means a lot to them. Our democracy is important and we want to maintain that democracy. It's a last minute sprint to the polls. If you're voting early, that is. Just ask Renee Blakely. This is easy. It's in, uh, not that many people in there. Really very efficient. No problem at all. She's one of more than 80,000 voters who have cast their ballot early for the Democratic primary ahead of Tuesday's uh -huh. primary election as Virginia Democrats nominate who they want to see as governor, lieutenant governor, and attorney general. Saturday, I got more time to run errands. Tuesday, I'd be working. Can I get off and work? I'd have to rush. Five candidates are vying for the Democrats' gubernatorial nomination. Former Governor Terry McAuliffe, State Senator Jennifer McClellan, Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax, and Delegate Lee Carter have all made stops across the Commonwealth, making their last-minute pitches. Virginians are hungry for change. Delegate Jennifer Carol Foy is viewed as one of the leading challengers to former Governor McAuliffe, saying she thinks Democrats are looking for fresh faces and ideas in leadership. So Virginia, let's show the world who we are and what we can do. We can elect a public defender who's been fighting for our communities. Meanwhile, six people are seeking the nomination for lieutenant governor, and Delegate Jay Jones is challenging two-term Attorney General Mark Herring. And with polls now closed until Tuesday morning, Blakely is just hoping everyone makes their vote count and that whoever wins can do what's right for the community. I wanted to be a person that's interested in the people and the citizens of this town and making life better for all of us. Now, Republicans chose their statewide candidates last month. They include Glenn Youngkin, Jason Meares, and Winsome Sears. Meanwhile, primary polls will open back up at 6 a.m. on Tuesday. Working for you this evening in Richmond, I'm Matthew Foltz, CBS 6 News.